Very good. Ah, it's time for Wax of Contrition. But first, as I mentioned, I found an old review for this album. This is a cherry cow, by the way. Bad Company's Burning Sky. Apparently, as a teenager, I didn't like it very much. So here's the review I wrote. Bad Company stumbles their way through 11 new songs, begging the question, is Simon Kirk's goal to put us all to sleep? Gone are the snappy production values of the debut or straight shooter. These dull blues romps flirting unsuccessfully with Southern Boogie, Funk, and Soul. It's not the slow pace that's the problem. Something like Like Water would be a masterpiece in the hands of someone like Paul Kossoff, but Mick Ralphs has none of that profound spellbinding six-string power. This thing wouldn't stand a chance without Paul Rogers, but even he sounds like he's going through the motions in the sludgy doo-wop of Everything I Need. Why do we have to settle for frumpy-ass rock like this? Punk was invented to slay dumb, fat dinosaur rock like this. All the more reason why true masters like Thin Lizzy and Blue Oyster Cult continue to release one brilliant album after another, while we are tortured by shit like this, that will likely be triple platinum by next Thursday. Fuck me, where's the Tylenol? <laughs> In honor of that review, this is Burning Sky. <laughs> Okay. Sadly, this is not the bad company hour. Our wax bad of company bashing hour. Our, our wax of contrition this week is this solid gold biggie. Sacrileges beyond the realms of madness from 1985. If you're in a shit like bolt thrower, you should already know this record. Weirdly, I did a review of one of my favorite attitude adjustment albums, and I mentioned that I thought Sacrilege BC was a crap band. I got some shit for it from Chris from Attitude Adjustment, weirdly. But the reason why is because for me, there is only one sacrilege. This band. And from the same town that brought us Sabbath and Priest, Birmingham, West Midlands, UK, came Sacrilege UK, formed from members of bands with colorful monikers like Innocent Victims, War Wound, and the Verrukers. The four-piece came together in 84 and quickly produced a couple of demos. Despite an obvious love of discharge, the combination of Damian Thompson's restless riffing style and Tam's hard screamed yet melodic vocals made for a sound that stood out from their bristle mohawk UK crust contemporaries. Their 1985 full length took only five days to record, and the band's powerful sound is bolstered by engineer Mike Ivory, who had worked up with up-and-comers like Concrete Socks and Heresy. The album is a treasure, forward-thinking. The band's tight as fuck, no concern with choruses. This is 26 minutes of riffy, raw metal hell, and it's been issued by impressive labels like Puss Mort and Relapse, among several others over the years. I'm going to try to dig up. I was so in love with her in the 80s with Tam. They had her, they had her picture a couple different Kerrang um, articles. I'll try to put a picture up of it. Yeah. She was, she was the love of my life for a while there. Yeah. Um, anyway, but let's play a song. This is Shadow from Mordor. Yay, Tolkien. <laughs> Okay, getting back to Sacrilege. Every cut on this thing cycles through churning riff excursions, some nods to DB, but the similarities to Slayer's Hell Awaits are much more prevalent, even if it's by happenstance. Tam's vocal attack is exactly that. A ballsy metal filibuster screamed over the din at varying intervals. The band had no concern for preconceived punk or metal norms. The, for example, the closing irony doesn't even get on with the vocals for the first three minutes. Excellent stuff, really, especially for 1985. Most of your favorite thrash albums hadn't been released yet. This particular issue includes three songs from the band's 1986 demo, as well as live versions of The Closing Irony and several others. 
A real treat, considering that Sacrilege didn't play a lot of live shows. Maybe 20, and in Europe only. Plus, there's a new song recorded in 2015, Dig Your Own Grave, that shows speed and power haven't dulled at all with age. Pam sounds fantastic, shrieking and barking like a seasoned pro. The label Back on Black specializes in reissues, and their catalog is super impressive, giving makeovers to classics from bands like Witchfinder General, Onslaught, and Extreme Noise Terra, among others. Lose yourself in the brutal, beautiful fury of sacrilege. All right, let's play a song. This is Lifeline. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. 